Hi, and welcome to another episode of How to Get Started in IT. I'm Mike Roderick, and today we're going to be talking about how to keep your IT job engaging. We all know there are times when the IT role can be redundant, right? We do the same thing over and over again, that darn printer again, really. Adding new users, whatever the case may be, right? We get into these ruts, and we've all had them. The problem happens when these ruts span, start to span over multiple days, turns into weeks, turns into months, right? Now we really need to acknowledge that we're in a rut. And we, we, we're not looking forward to anything. We have a lack of motivation. It's really hard to, 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 to get started to do anything. You lose focus. Just can't get those creative juices flowing. You know you're in a rut when, when the days start blurring together and somebody says, how are you? And, and you're just like, meh. And now what do you do about that, right? Many of us, we just, we just push through. But the problem is that's not good for you, for your happiness, for your well-being, for your career, none of that, right? When we're in these ruts, when we're unmotivated, when, when we can't get those juices flowing, we don't do our best work, right? Tasks that we used to get excited about don't excite us anymore. We don't do as well as we normally do. And the thing is, others start to notice, right? Especially your bosses. They're gonna notice that lack of productivity or the fact that your work is suffering. So. What we need to do is figure out how do we get re-motivated, right? How do we get out of that rut and keep that IT job engaging? Well, hopefully I'm going to give you some tips that will help you do just that. You know, one of the first things you can do is, is try to take your tasks that you have at hand and break them down into smaller tasks, right? Sometimes when you look at what you've got on your plate, it's just overwhelming. And if you're already in a rut and, and just not feeling motivated, it can really weigh down on you. So the key is to break it up into smaller, more manageable chunks, right? These are things that you can check off and you can start to build that momentum, start feeling good about it, right? Oh, I've accomplished something. Even little tiny tasks will help you get that feeling going and just kind of get you kick-started and hopefully you can build from there, right? Uh, and, and what it is that you do, I mean, anything from, say, organizing your desk, right? Clean everything off, put everything in drawers, go through your files, little things like that. I, I have spent time going through my bookmarks, right? Because I end up with hundreds of bookmarks and they're just one big long list. Break them up into folders and try to organize them. And, and while it might not seem like much and uh, might not be all that productive, uh, it does give me a sense of accomplishment, right? And it gets me back into the, the, the flow of things, right? If you're working on the help desk, for example, uh, Signing off on a, a ticket, right? It's an accomplishment. It's something that you can celebrate and say, look, I've finished a ticket or two tickets or whatever the case may be. Uh, and again, it's, it's building that momentum, uh, getting you into that positive forward flow effect. Another thing you could do is you can you take a break, right? Just get up and step away for a second. Get that blood moving again. Whether that means, you know, walking down to the water cooler uh, and getting something to drink or going outside. We have many people here at IT Pro TV uh, that love to go for a walk around the building. They'll do a couple laps and then come back in and now you've, your, your blood is flowing. The oxygen levels have gone up uh, and you're feeling a little more productive and, and little things like that can really help. You know, I, I hate to say it, do some exercise of some kind. Uh, you know, go back into the hallway and, and do some jumping jacks. Just something to kind of get you moving and get that blood flowing again. Another thing you might do to help keep your IT job engaging, read a book, read a blog, right? Typically your book author or your blog author, they're motivated about whatever topic it is that they're writing about and that can help you. You can pick up some of that energy, some of that motivation, right? Another great way to pick up motivation and energy is attend a conference. You know, I recently went to Ignite and, um, you know, we, when you go down to Ignite, it's full of people giving presentations that are very motivated about what's coming up, what's new, what's exciting, and that just bleeds over, right? I mean, I know it's, it's a lot of marketing, it's a lot of hype, it's a lot of, you know, hoopla and things like that, but, but that helps and that's what I need. If I'm in a rut, that's exactly what I need. I need to drink that Kool-Aid again. I, oh yeah. I need to feel the feeling of excitement and, and uh, really get excited about what it is I'm doing. That energy can be contagious. Another thing that can help is to have a vision or a plan of where it is you want to be in the next year, five years, that kind of thing, right? And then break that down into little manageable steps that you can start to accomplish. Like maybe you're in a particular role at work, maybe the help desk, for example, and you would really see yourself in the future working in the security part of IT. 
Well, take the time to learn what it is you're going to need. What certifications do I need? What courses do I need to start watching over at IT Pro TV to start heading towards that ultimate goal? And by taking those little steps and start moving towards those goals, uh, it makes you feel better about yourself, makes you, gives you that sense of accomplishment. Another thing that can help is thinking about why you got into your role in the first place. Well, why is it you're doing what you're doing? Me, for example, I'm an instructor and I really enjoy it. I enjoy helping people. I enjoy sharing knowledge and seeing them better themselves and, and move ahead in their career. That gives me a sense of satisfaction. So think about your job and what it is you're doing and why you're doing it. You know, when you think about IT, it is sometimes a, a thankless job, but we help a lot of people. You help people do their jobs every day, even though they might not see you directly. Without you, they wouldn't be able to do their job and therefore get that paycheck and, and put food on their family's table and things like that. So remember what you're doing helps a lot of people and that can help motivate you uh, when you start feeling down about your job. So those are some of the tricks that I've used when I found myself in a rut. Hopefully they'll help you out. Hey, do you have any tips on how to keep your IT job engaging? If so, make sure you put them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see a new show every Saturday morning. I'm Mike Roderick. Thanks for watching How to Get Started in IT.